Hey. How are you? I'm so glad to see you. Good to see you, too. It's a long time. Yeah. I could play your, uh... Got there in the beginning, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I still have that interview. Yeah, do you? Want to buy Don't it? Don't you dare show it to anybody. <laughs> Not a soul. Oh, it's beautiful. Where was it? It was in Palm Springs. What was the movie? The movie was The Happening. Yeah. Would Number you like a rerun one. of the movie? No. 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 None of that. <laughs> no. Do you remember where we talked? Uh, I think it was at one of those parties outside it or something. Was. Set up something. Yeah. And all the things that have happened to you, yeah. and you remember that? And you still have a hairpin in your hair. <laughs> no point. Oh, I've got my clips. I, well, we weren't supposed to be shooting that. I was just going to come and say hello. Uh, do you want to go take the hairpins out and come back, and I'll get your chair and we'll sit down? Yeah. What I want to do is see this shot. Sure. This is him getting shot, which I better uh, have a minor reaction to tomorrow, <laughs> later on. Tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, he's, well, he's falling tomorrow. But in this shot, they're shooting him being shot. So, um, I don't know. However you want to do it. Let me go Whatever and find out become, how long sure. they've got and find out when we've got a space of time. All right, good. It sure came at an incredible time. Uh, I know. You know what's going on in the script now. I know. Okay? <laughs> and you know what's going on in life here. Uh, Jerry, point to the top one. Watch your head. Mark, watch your head. <laughs> Shouldn't they all be covered at the start? No. Yeah. Huh? You're going back the to the ones. Yeah, I'm going right back like to the start. Those are the two that have to go off. All right. Three. Action in the wheel. All right, action. Right? Right. That cable's on. Leon, come on down. God damn it, come on down. All right, Mish, Lena, I'm coming down. Five. Three. Three. As we left, you rushed to see a scene that you said was important uh, yeah. to you. Yeah. Why would you have to watch a scene? It helps you just imagine less. What I was watching was <laughs> this incredible shot just past Cleon of um, Jack Palance and uh, a few other actors shooting at... He, Palance isn't shooting, but his gunmen are shooting at Cleon while he's up there. And it's a moment just prior to what I have to play. Actually, it's simultaneous to what I have to play right now when I leave you. It's my reaction, us knowing that's happening, George Scott and I, and reacting to it. And it's also kind of, you just have less to imagine. Mm -hmm. This is an unusual uh, situation for me. Uh, the last time I saw you personally, because I've Quite seen you difference. in many motion pictures, uh, you'd had a, a, a moderate uh, bit of success. First movie, oh, yeah, moderate. Right. Right. And then, uh, in, in, that was 1967. Yeah. Since then, uh, you've become a major motion picture star. And Gone through a lot so of changes. <laughs> Personally, too, have you? Oh, sure. It, it never confines itself to one area, unfortunately. They all go together. Uh, but no regrets, though. Uh, oh, no. No, no, not that at all. I mean, I've, just, I've gone through periods of just not working for a couple of years, you know, and I think uh, it's an interesting period after you become, after you explode the way, you know, we all did with Bonnie and Clyde. You did Bonnie and Clyde, then you seemed missing for a while. Yeah. Uh, we all read yeah. you were in Italy. Yeah. Missing on purpose? I went through a period of, well, I don't know, five years after I would go through periods of working as much as neat as I had to and kind of uh, having, well, it's a long story and we don't have time to go into it now, oh, but yes, having do. achieved an Am American dream of sorts, you know, I mean, like that sort of success is, you know, that achievement of kind of our whole myth of success and that all um, problems are solved and everything and what in fact is true is that nothing changes you know a few little things are easier and there's a freedom that's not there that was there before I mean you, you people do send you ten scripts a day instead of one a month you know and so you have a kind of freedom you can choose which one but it personally um, beyond certain kind of minor insecurities being satisfied like people tend to at least exhibit a certain feeling of love for you or some kind of you know approval beyond that rather minor neurotic need for approval now Nothing basically changed at all, and, and the problems are still the same when you wake up the next morning. So there was a certain amount of that, I think. That then you were saying, after all that you worked for and finally achieved, then it wasn't worth it? Oh, no, not in the least. It's absolutely worth it. All I'm saying is don't look for your happiness there, no. sweetheart, because you'll get... I mean, making movies is thrilling and fantastic and fun, and doing a play is a whole different sort of 
um, you know, experience. And, and just for me, I've found in the last you know, year or two, and I've just begun to do it one play a year, very valid and very necessary and needed and all that. But you can't find personal happiness or, um, you know, I mean, I think I grew up in a certain way, and I think many people in the society do, feeling that once you get the, the two-car garage or once you get that, then everything's going to be okay, and the sun is going to be out, and that's just not true. It, it is our myth, you know, We in, and I'm, I'm not putting it down because everything's got so many facets and sides to it. Mm. On the one hand, that kind of thing makes you strive to do something more. On the other hand, you have to realize at the same time that when you get there, you're still going to have the problems, you know, within yourself that you had the next, the day before that, and there are things that you have to deal with, and they have to do with the very soul of your life and how you live your life and what you are to other people and what they are to you and how you relate on that level and has to do with love you know so those kind of exterior things happening to you can make you more comfortable and you can have you know a nice coat and you can Beautiful you know, have coat those things. And, and, <laughs> and this sort jumping of jumping boots and, and coveralls <laughs> and a fur well, coat won't buy you love uh. <laughs> or happiness